Bienvenue, mes amis. I am Jean Thériault from Trois Rivières um, in Nouvelle France. I am here to show you how to make this gun, uh, the fusil de chasse, uh, shoot properly. I have a friend on YouTube. He asked me, he said, Jean, can you tell me um, how I make this gun shoot because it has no hole? When you get these guns, you must do some work to them to make them properly function. I will show you what some of the things must do to make them work. First, you mark in the center of the pen with uh, some sort of pencil crayon marker, yes. Then you remove the lock. The lock screws on the back will come undone and allow you to take off the lock. Voila. You can see this one here has been properly drilled, but yours will need to be drilled there. So you remove these pins. Now I have this tool to remove the pins. The wire is from the nail, yes? And the wood is oak and this puts the pin back in so the wire it go on this side push the pin out push the pin in with the wood these they are loose yes so now the next thing you must take out the screw which is here i have already done so to make this uh rapidement so we can get on with the business of the rest of the gun. Remove the barrel. You see, let me put the stock here. You see from this, um, if you see here, these logs, they call these the log, and that is what the pin goes through. It locks on the uh, barrel to the stock Now you do not have to remove each one only the ones Between the thimble Because the thimble You see Voila These thimbles they are done Through this stock Hope you can see this the luminette is not very good. So, once you have done so, you take the barrel, yes, and first you must remove, uh, let me show you, this is called the tang. You put the flats here into the vise. Then do not put the wrench on the flats. Put the wrench on the tang here. This will allow you to grasp very strongly. Yes, blue four. Remove uh, left hand, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So you go this way clockwise clockwise puts it on counterclockwise takes it off now first time it will be very hard very hard because this is put on at the factory when they fabric uh, this fusee and it is very tight so you must have a good strong wrench, a big wrench, maybe 24 inches, you know, like a big adjustable wrench and strong vice. I would recommend you put lead, either lead or oak on the sides, on the flat to lock in the barrel so that um, when you remove, now the reason you remove this bar breech plug, this is the breech plug. The reason you remove this breech plug is because when you drill the hole, the breech plug here is uh, the threads go up 
all the way to where this touch hole will be. So you must remove the breech plug as to not, not uh, damage the threads on the breech plug. Remove this breech plug. Um, it has already been, uh, how you say, uh, ground. Uh, there is um, some grinding that has been done at the factory uh, to ensure that this op that this will be open. So maybe you can drill, maybe not. But um, I recommend you take the breech plug off, drill properly on the drill press, grease the threads um, with a very heavy grease, like motor grease, you know, for your uh, automobile. And then you put the breech plug back in. That way it will protect the threads and it will, if you ever need to come out later, you know, you can um, redo now you can also see let me show you there is an index mark here this is to line up the breech plug properly you see it has been marked here so that you get proper alignment so but you can also just see where the flats line up the angle of the flats will line up properly once you have the breech plug back uh, on correct so this is just to ensure you have it where the factory um, put the breech plug, yes. Also, you notice this, there's date here, 1979. This is not when the musket was manufactured. It was uh, Fabrique um, uh, recently. But 1979 is when the India license was granted to the maker. So that's all that is. That is proof mark, not proof mark, proof mark from firing the gun. It is a manufacturer license and origin. Yes. Once this is done, um, oh, before you put the breech plug back on, please, please make sure you lave or uh, uh, wash the barrel yes wash the barrel clean the barrel put the all the way down because you can get it much better without the breech plug than you can with the breech plug so it will get all there any rust or filings or metal you know that is in the barrel yes once you do this back oh also As you see here, um, I put the resin in the for the wood because uh, when you shoot this for reenacting, you don't need to do this. But if you want to hunt, you do uh, because there will be more force on the tang, and the tang puts much force in the wood. So here you can see I glass bed a um, little bit the wood right here to strengthen strengthen the stock uh, this is not necessary but I want to ensure it is very strong so I do this also one more thing you need to do to make this uh, India gun shoot well the spring this is the main spring here now the main spring you can see this was ground down a little bit. Um, um, I grind the spring because it, when it's from the factory, it's too strong, you know? Too strong from the factory. So I grind it and make the spark very good. Which You see, um, but before I do this, this spring was very, very hard, too hard. So it make the, um, make the gun crush the flint. The flint still strikes, but it crushed them, break them one, two shots, maybe. So what you do, you can even leave this uh, spring on the lock. You get the grinder. 
and you grind down this flat surface here. I will not do this right now. There are plenty of videos on the YouTube to show you. Yes. And um, you just grind this down a little bit at a time. Try the lock. Grind down. Then when you finish grinding this, you know, dress it up with um, some 220 grit paper. You know, make this very uh, smooth. You don't want any cracks or marks in it, or it could weaken and and um, break. Also, one more thing: this small spring here. I also dress, dress up, uh, grind it a little bit. This is the sear spring. It pushes on the sear and makes the force on the lock. So. Um, it's very important to address this up too before you, uh, when you finish uh, doing your lock. One last thing, the lock, when I have all the pieces off here, I smooth it out and I grease it. I, I, I uh, take sandpaper, go over this entire surface. Uh, when all the pieces, the sear, the mainspring, trigger mechanism, everything gone, I go over it, make it flat, very flat, so that... Uh, the lock it works smooth yes so this is what must be done for the india gun to shoot properly we put the lock back on we put the barrel back on and you have a very nice few see the shots that will give you many years of trusty use yes Thank you so much. Uh, bid you adieu from Trois Rivières. I'll see you later.